Hey guys, um, we have a Samsung uh, top load washer. Uh, the water started leaking uh, and our whole laundry room had flooded a couple of days back. So we were trying to understand what happened. Um, so in the process, we were trying to open it and we found where the leak was, but I thought it's going to be useful information. So maybe uh, take a video of exactly what we did. Uh, so if in case you have a similar problem, you can uh, do the same. Um, but before you do anything, uh, keep in mind, uh, you have, before you open the panel and do any of the stuff, uh, make sure that the water uh, is all completely unplugged as well as the power card is fully unplugged. Um, and now I'm going to show you how to open the back panel uh, so you can get to the bottom of the problem. All right, let's go. Before uh, you pull the whole thing out, uh, and uh, also start removing the water supply from the washing machine. Remember, there is going to be a latch or there's going to be a tap on the wall for the water. Make sure you have turned it off to its off position before you remove uh, the water from the washing machine. Because if you remove this and the water is going to be flowing, it's going to be flooding all over. So make sure it is in the off position before you do Actually, it. there are multiple components uh, here. Uh, you need to actually pull out the top panels and these bottom panels. They are not dependent on each other. Uh, you can actually remove the bottom panel without removing the top panel. But sometimes when you're trying to figure out what the problem is, you still don't know where the problem is. So you may have to remove both. So I'm going to show you how to remove the whole panel so you can figure out where the problem is. So I'm going to show you how to remove the top panel first. There are a total of uh, six screws that hold these together. So we're going to remove that first. And here's the last screw on the top. Now that all the Phillips screws on the top have come out, uh, it's time to pull this panel out. Usually it is kind of stuck, uh, so you might have to use a little knife or something that, that'll quickly uh, pull the panel off. And then once that's pulled, you can actually get this whole panel, uh, put it away. Uh, and now uh, you have this top panel. Uh, you will see that there are two more Phillips screws that holds the top panel uh, to its position. So let's quickly remove that. Now is that uh, the two screws have been removed, uh, the top panel can actually be pulled out and you can remove it from a socket. So you have a full view into the system that holds this whole uh, or makes this washing machine work. Uh, keep in mind, uh, when we started making this video, we already knew what the problem is. But originally, when we started off, we didn't know what the problem was. Uh, this uh, device that you see here, uh, the brown device, this is the water sensor. Uh, it looks at the pressure of the water uh, to see if it needs to put more water or less water. I originally thought when it started leaking that the water pressure was off. So I bought a water uh, pressure sensor uh, and worked with it and then realized that wasn't the problem. So in case you need to change that, uh, that's where you go to change. Any which way we need to pull this out. So I'm going to quickly show you how to get this off. Now, since you have to get the water pressure sensor off, you can notice that it has an electrical component and then it has a water hose component. The water hose component goes behind this metal panel. As a result, you have to get these panels off so that you can get this whole socket out. So I'm going to do that now. There you go. You've got all these Phillips screws out. There you go. Uh, all right, now is that we've gotten these panels out, uh, it's time to start working with the pressure sensor as to how you get that out. I'm gonna pull this electric wire set out first because it's going over it. Given now it has more space, you pull this electric card off. That should take care of the power portion. And now you can see 
there are two little uh, tabs that hold on to the electric sensor you can just get one of them off a little bit that should pull the sensor out now this sensor has two sections it has one portion where the tube is attached to its bottom and the other end of the tube you can see is attached to the tank so uh, now that i've gotten the sensor out uh, you can see that there are multiple tabs here you can slowly unbuckle these um, and then that will allow you for um, and then there is a pin here that you can see you slightly get this pin out and that should loosen it up all right so now we have gotten the full sensor out as well as the tube uh, so as i mentioned in case you had a problem with the pressure sensor all you need to do is remove this tube off and then that will allow you to put in a new sensor so i actually did buy a new sensor thinking that the problem is with the sensor so while the while i put in a new sensor turned it on again still there was water leak after a point in the tank so then we realized uh, the problem so we opened the panel and took a look as you can see at the end of this tube where it fits the tank there is a little cut i guess because of wear and tear it takes a while uh, i mean this has been with us for 5 years due to wear and tear and uh, there's a little cut here so what has been happening is that when the water filled in the tank until this point which is where the tube is attached it the pressure starts building and as the pressure starts building the water was coming out of the tube So now that I know what the problem is what I'm going to do is simply replace the tube uh, and uh, so I'm going to uh, uh, pull this tube out and replace another tube similar to uh, the pin on the bottom there is another kind of a pin that you would see is attached to the sensor uh, this actually holds it really tight so you got to be very careful in how you pull it out so you press the pin and then pull the tube out it loosens it a little bit the thing with the pin here is that it is way too tight unlike the other pin on the bottom uh, this one is too tight it's much easier to pull it out and much harder to put it back in so you might want to use a plier don't press it too hard but just press it enough for it to expand uh, just enough for you to put the tube back in and then leave it back that should be enough well i've put uh, the wire uh, the new tube back uh, and then uh, i'm going to insert the pin that we had on the other one there you go so we'll have to start from the top move the wire away put the sensor back in there you go and now put the electric socket back in so that's good and now use now that you've done that move this wire back to its original position so it's not in the way it's all set here let's put these into its respective tags all right this is almost got the pin back put it through it make sure you plug the tube back All right so now that I've put all of these back together the way it was um I'm going to put these back panels ba back in its original position so um the screw for this back panel the smaller one is slightly different it's not the same uh screw uh, that you saw and everything else so just make sure you got the right one there
right now is that you put the small panel back i'm going to put the larger panel back so you start from the bottom you see that there are two little sockets here and there is a two uh, little extensions you just make sure you line them up properly and then bend this a little bit and then it goes in perfectly once it is gone in you have these holes perfectly lined up and now you're going to screw them in Right, uh, now that we've gotten all the back panels back in position and everything else, uh, now is the time to put the main uh, top panel back where it belongs. If you uh, take a look at this, uh, you can clearly see that there are four holes here and then there are corresponding um, latches here. So make sure your latches are lining up against those holes and that gets you to a good position and now I'm going to put the screws back where they belong. Well now that we got that done we have one last piece to go. Um, try to line this up. One more screw to go and we're back in business. Now uh, now said all of these are done uh, I'm going to do a few things. Uh, basically plug in your uh, hot water uh, tube, cold water tube uh, back in here and then uh, this is your drain pipe. There should be a position, there should be a, a drain hole on the wall. Make sure your drain pipe is fully inserted back before you turn the uh, washing machine on. And once I'm done with all of that, I'm going to push washing machine back perfectly to its original position before I start testing it. All right. All right. So now we are all set. Uh, moment of truth we are going to find out if this thing actually works it should work there's no reason for it to not work so i'm going to turn the power on turn the washing machine on and check if uh, this thing works